Whether you're looking for manufactured or natural stone to accent or update your exterior or interior project of any size, Centurion Stone of Iowa offers a variety of styles, patterns, and colors for every need. Centurion Stone, our own manufactured stone product, has the look and feel of natural stone and is available in over 200 color and pattern combinations. We also provide natural stone for interior and exterior projects. Our Des Moines and Omaha locations are open daily. Browse our wide variety of product samples with our helpful staff. They'll answer any questions that you have. Check us out on the web at centurionstoneofiowa.com. Hello, what's going on? Welcome to Post Game here on the Cycle and Fanatic social media feeds. Yes, if you are watching on social media, uh, I am I am dressed like a Ghostbuster. It is trick or treat night here in Bondurant. Family going as Ghostbusters tonight. I didn't think y'all would care. In fact, I thought y'all would like it. Look at that. Who are you gonna call? Good, good win. Uh, not a perfect win. Really feels like there's no such thing as a perfect win on the road in conference. But hell, you all have been Iowa State fans long enough. You'll take it. 30 to 18. Cyclones go on the road and beat Baylor today. And, uh, you know, I'll really take it in the sense that we'll put it this way. So if I tell you today, you know, your, your freshman quarterback, Rocco Beck, is going to go into the game. And he, he's, he didn't play bad. I'm not saying Rocco was bad. He missed a couple of wide-open touchdown passes. He had the weird um, grounding episode. If I would have told you that Beck probably would play his worst game since they handed him the reins, and that TJ Tampa would get ejected in the second quarter for targeting – I think y'all would have been really happy with a 12-point win, and that's kind of what I come away with today. It's a situation where, man, there's a lot of good tape to take back to the fellas, and Iowa State will do that, but you still get to do it. And, hell, you're tied for first place in the Big 12 Conference going into the month of November. Pretty awesome. Didn't see that coming. Even preseason didn't see that coming, let alone didn't see that coming after, you know, the situation that happened in Ohio and just everything with the gambling and just this is a really, really great spot. I think Matt Campbell may be doing his best coaching job ever uh, at Iowa State, and there's a lot to to be excited about right now, really. I mean, you, you look at today's game. And it's a weird game to analyze because I feel like everybody kind of thinks, yeah, he probably should have won that game by more. You let him hang around. And and I and I could go that direction, but I'm not going to dwell on it because, again, I'm going to give him credit. Like, I'm going to give him credit where it's due for being able to fight off adversity on the road in the league where you didn't play your best. That was not close to Iowa State's best game. And you're still able to hang on and 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 do what they did today. So I'm I'm really, really thrilled as Iowa State wraps up the month of October. You know, you're one game away from bowl eligibility, did not lose in the month of October, so that's kind of a still a Matt Campbell thing that continues to exist. Now things get a lot tougher now. All right, they get a lot tougher now. That was the hole in the schedule where you're like, okay, there's some real opportunity here, but you did win two road games. Give them a ton of credit for that. But Kansas comes to town next week, and they're probably going to be favored. I would guess Kansas will be a slight favorite in that football game. I would have to do a little checking, but their numbers are going to go up after today. 
You got to go two bite BYU, Texas, and then Kansas State. But you've put yourself in the position at four and one in the Big Twelve Conference, where you are at a literal tie for first place in this league, which is incredible. I actually think I'll, I'll give you the glass half full. Probably a good day for Rocco Becht, right? He hadn't made many mistakes, and the, the mistakes he's made have been big, some pick sixes, that type of stuff. But that stuff that's coachable, right? You can teach him some things. He is still a freshman. You cannot expect him to be perfect. And that, again, was not a perfect win today. But, man, you you catch a break by Tampa's deal happening when it did because you really need him all four quarters next week with that Kansas offense. You, um, you know, I, I thought the defense wasn't great in the second half, but I also thought the second half was just a little bit weird, a little bit clunky, just all the way around. I thought the defense was lights out today. Like, to me, like, when you ask me, like, how'd that game get won today, I, I think of a defensive type win. Kicker comes in, makes important kicks for Iowa State in a couple of different scenarios, big kicks. Shout out to Chase Contreras. He was really good. Good to see Cartavius Norton get into the end zone twice as well. That's a guy who's fought injuries, who, you know, is weighted behind people. He looked really good. Eli Sanders averages 6.4 yards per carry. Abu Sama looked great until that fumble, and then he didn't play again. So the running game, what do you run? 4.6 yards per rush today for the Cyclones. Really, really happy with it. I think they still need work in the red zone. You know, that's something I think when Nate Shieldhouse and Matt Campbell sit down and discuss, how can we, you know, be more effective in the red zone? Uh, some questionable play calls, I thought, towards the end where you could have run that clock out a little bit earlier. But all in all, I've been doing this for too long. I'm not going to complain about a 12-point road win for this Iowa State team that is still young and is still getting better. And, um, again, like there's a little bit of, uh, the, you know, happiness that comes with you didn't play that great. I didn't think that that is not the best game Iowa state has played this year against a team that's getting better in Baylor. And you still made them look pretty bad, right? You still comfortably win this football game. I know we're all sweating at the end, but they comfortably won the football game by two possessions and you're able to run the clock out at the end. Tied for first. That's all i got to say. You're tied for first in the Big 12. You've got a showdown with Kansas next week. Homecoming. It's going to get nuts. I want to thank our sponsors, Carl Auto Group, Centurion Stone of Iowa, for sponsoring what we do. One more shout-out to the offensive line keeps getting better. That was my big takeaway when I scouted Baylor all week is that I thought their defensive line was a lot better than most people projected. And I and I still think they were pretty good. I don't think they're great. I don't think they're elite. They're they're probably top half of the league. And Iowa State's offensive line is really able to go in there and bully them around. And you just factor in where this team was a month ago. Everybody on that offensive and defensive staff, you think about where that defense was a month ago. It's been a really encouraging year. And I'm going to continue to tell you guys, this is why I like Iowa State in this new Big 12. When you're competing with, you know, teams with similar rosters, Matt Campbell and his staff are really good. Yes, Sharon, who's watching on Facebook, you must have missed the intro. I am wearing a Ghostbusters costume. I'm taking my daughter's trick-or-treating after this. Not after this. I got to go do Learfield post game and then I'll do that. But I figure, what the hell? You guys would want to see me in a Ghostbusters costume, right? Who are you going to call? Ghostbusters. My name is Chris Williams. We'll be back with Williams and Bloom coming up on Sunday. Connor Ferguson and Rob Gray will have some columns after this one. Iowa State wins it 30 to 18 over Baylor. Have a good one.